Hi, I just want to take a little time out today with everything that's going on with the Kanika Jenkins case. I just want to share with you all, be an encouragement to the family. First off, I would like to say that I have been following the case since day one. I mean, I wake up looking at facts and things that are posted. I lay down at night watching videos and reading comments of things that are posted. And I've had my own speculations. I've came to my own conclusions. I did my own investigation work, looking up certain people, things they've posted and their demeanors, just watching them in their live videos and things like that. <clears throat> but at the same time, I used wisdom and kept it to myself. Because what we got to understand is, if, if justice for Kanika is number one importance in our life, we got to let it happen. We can't be interfering with it. And when you post videos and point fingers at people and saying things that you don't know for sure, you're holding up the investigation. Because what you must realize is that the people that are on the case, they're watching all the videos that you're posting. They're looking at the evidence that you're saying is evidence. And if you're pointing them in false directions or pointing them towards things that's irrelevant, it's taking away from the time or really putting the time into things that are necessary and things that are relevant to the case. So things that are relevant to the case is having time, a chance to get deleted or, or edited or altered before they can even get to it because they're busy following up on leads of us when we do our own investigation and when we point fingers or things like that and, and we're pointing fingers at the wrong people and we don't really know what's going on. So I've had my own speculations, I've drew my own conclusions, but I kept them to myself because I really do want to see justice for Kanika. I want them to get to the bottom of it and see what really happened. And if they never, the police of Rosemont, don't do what they're supposed to do, I know that God is going to do what he's supposed to do. So she will get justice. It may not be in our time or the way we want to see it done, but I strongly believe that justice will be served because no sin goes unpunished. And I would just like to encourage the family of Kanika. There are a lot of things that's been said about her mom, her sisters, her brothers, and things of that sort. And it's not happening. And I also understand there are just mean and cruel people in this world who serve a different God. And they don't care. But I just want to encourage the family to keep your head up. Know what you know and keep it moving. You don't have to answer to anybody. You don't have to answer to anyone on these um, social websites, the internet, the search. And you don't have to answer to any of those people. Just know what you know and keep it moving and keep your head up and stay prayed up in this time. Because what you must know is that the enemy does not stop attacking. Each round goes higher and higher. And regardless of what happened, regardless of the background that's going on with the family and the ones that they're staying involved, God is going to, the truth shall be revealed. God is going to handle all that. But tearing down another individual is not going to help anything. Speculating or point fingers at other individuals are not going to help anything. When you want justice, sometimes you have to take your hand away from the situation, sit back and let justice be served and let things get done. But interfering with it takes a longer time. It takes a longer route. And we sit here and say we believe in God for it and knowing that he's going to do it, but we still put our hands in it. And we're making a mess of it because God don't need help to do anything. And I just want to encourage everybody who's dealing with this case and the loved ones and the cousins and the friends that are hurt in this case. Keep your head up. Know what you know and keep it moving. Justice will be served for Kanika. And we got to stop looking at these people who we think are involved and, and killing them with our mouth. Because that might not even be the person who did it. Or that might not even be the per person who was involved with it. But yet you have used your mouth to kill them or to put them down. Or you use your speculation to say the mom did this and the mom did that or the best friend did this and the best friend did that. And then when the truth is revealed, your face is on the floor. And that's where you're going to leave it because you're not going to find these people. You're not going to try to contact these people. You're not going to go back on that post and say, well, I'm sorry I was wrong because it's in your nature. You're just not going to do it. So it's good to just wait until things are resolved and, 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 hold your, and, and fight for Kanika. Don't fight because you want to be nosy and you want to be the first one to get the news and you want to be the first one to post this and the first one to post that. And, oh, I told you I knew. No, if you fight for justice for, justice for Kanika, stay out the way of the investigation. 
Stop intruding. Stop with all this false evidence. Stop fabricating things and posting them online that's hindering this investigation because this mom really does want justice. Sure, it's not going to bring her daughter back, but that justice will kind of give her a peace of mind. Knowing what really happened to her daughter, because right now her head is just wondering and wondering. And there's people who saying that she knows already what happened to her daughter and this and that. If she does, that's her daughter. That's their business. We chose to come out and protest in the fight on justice for Kanika, on Kanika because we wanted to. Or did we come to protest to be nosy? Or did we come to get close to the family so we can have an insight, an insight on what was going on? I just want to encourage the family. Keep your head up. Don't pay attention to the backlash, the negativity that's being posted. Block it all out. Don't even log on. Forget what they're saying. Don't let it bother you when you know what you know. And just keep your head up and know that justice will be served for Kanika. Keep your head up in this time right now and encourage one another.